We're going over the front rack stretch from the back rack. Sounds kind of weird because you're doing front rack from the back rack, but we're going to start index fingers where the smooth part meets the knurling. 20 second static hold with the elbows as high as you can get them. Want to try to avoid bringing the bar up to the neck. Try to keep it low on the traps, full grip on the bar, keeping the elbows as high as you can. After 20 seconds, we're going to do elbows as high as you can, full grip on it, elbows as high in the back as you can, coming back up. Trying to improve the range of motion each rep while keeping a full grip on the bar. Then we're going to kick the pinky out to where that first knurling hits. A little knob, elbows as high as you can again, 20 seconds. Then the same thing, elbows as high as you can, out front and back. Then finally, you're gonna put the index finger at the second knurling, all the way at the edge. You can see the two knurlings there. Index finger, full grip on the bar. Get the elbows as high as you can. This one's gonna hit some different spots and then elbows high and out front. So anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds is usually good on the static holds. And then anywhere from five to 10 of the dynamic movement to improve that range of motion. Uh, if you do that regularly, it should help how you feel in that front rack position. You can get a lot better stretch actually holding the bar in the back rack than you typically can from the front.